Okay, so you guys want real life? Um, here it is. So I got to this field and we have another planter going right now in this same field. This is the one that we broke down in yesterday, which was, that was a super fun experience. Not. Um, but anyways, so I made one pass down and I'm halfway through my pass back and I was hearing this really bad noise and as soon as it started I like stopped throttled down and it was still making it I was like man I wonder if like a belt slipped off or something I don't know horrible noise so I radioed dad because he's not here right now and I said hey can you come check this out I don't know what's going on I don't want to break anything um, and he said and I turned off my hydraulic lines um, and that's what's controlling the vacuum sensors back there and um then it stopped i was like "Ooh, okay it must be something with hydraulics i guess uh which is good i was really hoping the tractor itself wasn't broken um uh, so uh, he said go back there and check a little gauge um to see if my hydraulic fluid is low so we're going to go out there and check out what it looks like okay actually a lot of people ask me what the outside of the tractor looked like there you go. It's kind of enormous. Sorry, it's so windy. Um, uh, but yeah, there's my, that's my beast of a rig there. So we're just gonna go back here in between the planter and the tractor. Squeeze in here. All right, and uh, let's see what we got. Okay. So I'm back here in between the planter and the tractor and uh, I think I see what's wrong. So I brought paper towels back because I thought I was going to have to clean off like a little gauge um, telling me how much hydraulic fluid I had left. But I don't think that's going to be necessary because, so these are all my hydraulic lines right now. Um, it runs pretty much everything back here and looks like one of them has popped off. Which is not good. So hydraulic fluid is kind of over everything now, which I really don't want on me because it's disgusting. I'm just gonna radio dad and tell him what's up. Hey, five ten. This is five oh one. Uh, looks like a hydraulic line popped off back here. So that would definitely explain why my fluid would be low. Connected. It look. I think it's one of those are like with the uh, auxiliary ones, the ones that were so hard to push in that you had to. It's the bottom auxiliary one. I'll be there. I'm. We're done dumping here for Megan. Sounds like he's kind of busy right now. I think he went home to take care of some dirt work stuff. I'm on my way. Never mind. He's on his way. I guess we'll. Uh, We'll get his take on all this. So, hooked on something or what? Uh, no, I, hmm. Gremlin? Where's that, where's that glass gauge? Yeah, I'll show you. Uh, I think you want to. You want to lower it here? Yes. Uh, right. Let me get out of the way. Yep. You see that? Um. I want to call it a dipstick. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I see and That's it, where see the it. hydraulic oil goes. So let's okay. go get hydraulic oil. We'll see you in a bit. Mmm, beautiful. Woo! That deleted pickup, though. Are you bringing more hydraulic fluid just in case? Just in case. We're doing it because I have a good idea we're going to get out there and need a ton more. Okay, so I have this pumper thing with me here. And we'll see how this goes. Um, I'm going to take this. Oh, my sleeves up first. I'm going to get filthy, I know it. Okay, I'm going to take this. Uh, stopper out here 
I can oh, hold, I, I cut can. myself. My finger's bleeding. Sorry. Aww. Got paper towels? Oh, I'll be fine. Ouchie. That hurt. Okay, anyways. Part of the job, I guess. I'm just gonna snake this thing through here, put it in, well, it's hooked in enough, turn this around a little bit, okay, and then start, does it just start pumping? Yeah, and then keep your eye on the side gauge. Sounds good. Okay, so now I'm just continuously filling, oh, my poor little finger, um, pumping, my hands are getting filthy, um, ugh, I should have worn gloves, um, and just checking my sight gauge, as he said, uh, to see where we're at. And it kind of sounds like we're getting full. I found a first aid kit. I'm not kidding. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I don't know how I, well, I don't Do know what need, I cut uh, that off. antibiotic ointment? Maybe just something like a antiseptic or something? Or Here's a quick clean. Keep pumping, we'll work as you heal. Thank you. Ouch. He's gonna send me a text, so I'll let you know. Uh, Band-Aid? Alright, well I need about 45 minute lead time. Gauze pad? Just, just a bandit. I honestly kinda... don't think I have bandage. It's not a band aid. It's a bandage. Oh, there we Does go. That make a difference. I don't know. Is one the brand name? I think band aid is a brand. Just kind of shredded. Trade you. Thank you. This is very sanitary here. Obviously, look at the fingers I'm putting the band aid on with. There we go. Okay, so I put 10 gallons of hydraulic fluid in here, and I'm just going to put the cap back on here. I'd say, all in all, the only injury I sustained was a little cut on my pinky finger, but it feels better now. The band-aid lasted like five seconds. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure this is on nice and tight. And hopefully that fixes our problem and we can get going again. Okay, so that only took us about two hours to just do um, the hydraulic fluid that was spun out of that line. Um, just again, here's a little better view of the tractor That's good right there. and what it looks like. Let's get started again. Okay, so we fixed our weird uh, problem back there with the hydraulic line coming off. Um, I think we're ready to go. Um, <laughs> Sounds all right. Just gonna open up this back window and look back there, make sure everything looks all right. This whole back window pops out like that. Pretty cool. So from what I can see back there, all the lines are on. Now the real test is going to be. Uh, lifting the implement up and maybe starting planting. So I'm going to throttle up just a tiny little bit. Alright, uh, looks like nothing got caught or anything, so I'm just going to put my steering wheel down here. And uh, let's, get, uh, let's get rolling here. I'll turn my iPads and stuff on. Boom. Just gonna back up a ways. Just let everything get warmed up. Okay. It is not making that sound anymore, which is really, really encouraging. <sighs> okay. Let's get going. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> 